What's up, babes? Welcome back. It's Mother in Barb City, where it's always Mother in Liddy. Let's go on ahead and get into our video. But before we do, as always, when in doubt, just pull your mother effing blunt out. And thank you to everybody that continues to go on over to Facebook and follow Barb City over there. You guys are so awesome. And very much appreciate it. If you have not done that already, you already know your breath stink. Okay, let's go on ahead and get into our first topic, which is going to be Natalie Nunn. So y'all, Natalie Nunn has previewed some music. Yes, Natalie Nunn, I think will be dropping some music. I do not think this is the first time she previewed this song. But people definitely feel like she is inspired by Nicki Minaj. Of course, I cannot play the video with sound, but let's go on ahead and check this out. Now, the only thing that's giving Nikki, in my opinion, of course, is the vehicle and the way she's moving around. Maybe the inches on the hair, but other than that, Nicki Minaj would never do that Nike outfit with them heels. <laughs> but here were some of the comments. The Nicki Minaj influence. It's the Nike outfit with the white heels for me. Why she ate? I mean, if they make it Krishan rock a rapper, why not? LMAO. Everybody want to rap. What is up with that? She is not serious. And one more person saying, who is this again? <laughs> Hilarious. Now, let's go on ahead and move forward into Ice Spice. Let's just say that Ice Spice does not play about the relationship that she has with Nicki Minaj. So, Trash Winter tried coming for just that, the relationship that Nicki Minaj shares with Ice Spice. And like I said, Ice Spice was not playing. So, Winter said, I feel like Ice Spice went silent after she signed with Nikki. I wonder why I miss her, LOL. And Ice Spice said, this is why you stay getting dragged. Cry baby, no career having a B. I miss you too, LOL. And just one comment, you guys, someone saying, and that's how you clear a B. Embarrassing. And just real quick, can we talk about Ice Spice as Baby Boo? Can we talk about Ice Spice as Mother and Betty Boo? I'm sorry, but we gotta go ahead and give Ice Spice her mother and flowers out. Just, just, just give a bitch her, her roses though. I mean, yeah, you know I love just you, give man. a bitch her roses. Out, you know what I'm saying? I did. Let's quickly get into a recent video that I stumbled across. Um, Cardi B's fans, these people will do anything and everything to stop Nicki Minaj. And it is truly getting sickening in my opinion. Um, Botsy B has definitely trickled this energy down to her fans. And to be quite honest, it is very embarrassing to watch. So let me go ahead and play this clip. What the fuck is this, bro? Oh. 
It's put them in the in the trash. In the trash. And this is, is exactly why you guys are going to continue to call the Barb's bookies because we are going to continue to return this energy. Bitches was putting it on the flow again, ask, telling us if it was up, if it was stuck, telling us if it's beef, then it's beef forever. Now it's, oh, these bitches ain't intimidated by you. They showed up and left early. First of all, second of all, you not no fucking bar, bitch. Don't tell her how the fuck to move in this bitch. Every moment can be for them bitches. If she want to whack them bitches every moment of the day, she can. And you hoes just going to have to eat it. You bitches is just going to have to eat it. Nobody gives a fuck. Uh, and she'll do it again. And she'll do it again. And she'll keep whacking these bitches. And she'll keep whacking these bitches. As long as these bitches keep fucking talking. She's not going to shut up. She's not letting anything go. And we're not either. Okay. The person that tweeted, or yeah, that tweeted this video, their account is Bell Calise B, which is clearly a Botsy B fan account. They said, I almost threw up touching this mess. Hide that in the very back. LMAO. And I'm just like, you almost threw up, but yet you had a choice not to touch it. Bitch! How dare you? Oh my god! Someone responded to that person and said, three less cells. Wow, you really showed her. Another comment, imagine taking Stan Wars outside of Twitter and purposely walking around the store for Nicki Minaj vinyls, pulling out your phone to record and hiding two vinyls. And that's why your fave doesn't like y'all right now. Too focused on the queen instead of keeping her on the charts. And one more person saying, but what you don't see is his fave's music. Now, let's go on ahead and move forward because speaking of Botsy B and her fans, JT also protected her friendship that she has with Nicki Minaj against Botsy B and her fans. You guys know Botsy B and her fans always try to put JT down when she shows love to Nicki Minaj. One, calling her a lapdog and also saying that she's deriding Nikki. So JT basically let it be known that she does not care about what people are saying and that she feels like people are um, jealous of her. So first, let's listen to this clip. Please, that, that don't bother me. Like, if Nicki Minaj walk up and say any bitch in the comments saying I'm eating dick, anything, they're gonna bow down. This internet shit is not real. Like, these bitches on the internet just talking behind a stream. They not going to see Nicki Minaj and not bow, bow down. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, please. It's like, I don't care. I don't care. Real. And I know this is gonna be like everywhere. And I, that's why I really hate when I have to go deep into that because it just, it just, make people mad and i don't know why i make people so mad like that shit make me mad it make people mad like let people do what they want to do let people support who they want to support if it's female unity if it's female all of that then what's the problem when it comes to Nicki minaj like please hey, support black women until it's Nicki minaj like support protect all of that until it's her because she 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 comes off as so strong and i and i think it's a sagittarius thing because we don't really like pity so thank you for that um, to the person that 
was able to listen to it and screen record it. And also, thank you to Got The Scoop over on Twitter for this, okay? I am going to try to read this in my own words because trying to read JT's accent will have me all over the place. So, here's what Got The Scoop said. JT explains she has, excuse me, goddamn. JT explains how she feels when people say she's eating D when she talks about her positive relationship with Nicki Minaj and how Nicki gives her great advice, but it's considered female unity when other female artists support each other. She lets it be known that she it doesn't bother her and she feels like people are jealous. And this is what she said. And by the way, y'all, thank you for enjoying Barb City Blooper Rose. Let's move on. I feel like people are jealous. You know, when you're such a strong woman, people want to break you down. I wouldn't want to be attached to nobody more than I am attached to Nikki because I feel like she know. Like, if ain't no one know in this sh Nikki know. Like, she have been through so much like she could tell you every stage in your career from your start your come up your grind to being blackballed to being most aided to overcoming it to last to rapping against men like who can who else can effing tell you anything so again forgive me y'all that's what jt said and she also said this every day you won't win, but you are a loser if you don't try. And that is advice from Nicki Minaj giving straight to her. So first of all, thank you for J. Thank you to JT for being honest, you know, just not being able to be deterred from her friendship with Nicki Minaj. She's literally been lead ever since she said she loved Nicki Minaj publicly and with that being said um here's two comments i'm glad nikki had forgave jt now look at their relationship i love how they support one another never judge a book by its cover and one more person said i love this this is why jt can do no wrong with me like let's speak fairness for real for real because where is the unity when it comes to my girl gotta clock it so again thank you to jt for clocking the mother fnt clock it clock it now let's go in ahead and move forward into the queen and add just a little bit of razzle dazzle to this video i just have a little bit of news and announcements to report um, on Nicki Minaj. With that being said, the first thing we're going to talk about is the release of the vinyls that she did for Target. So as you can see here, it says a very special Pink Friday 2 exclusive vinyl is now available to pre-order at Target. You guys, this has sold out in the U.S. The vinyls are out. The link is not even able to be pushed anymore. But international barbs as of today you are able to pre-order that vinyl as you can see international barbs will be able to pre-order this target exclusive on monday so today is monday so again that is available to you guys the vinyls and the cds are also being sold on walmart online um they are also being sold on Amazon. You can find both the CD and the vinyl. And by the way, Amazon's best sellers in the U.S. CDs and vinyls, hip hop, rap chart, Pink Friday 2 CD, new Pink Friday 2 vinyl, new. So the barbs are definitely barbing. In a matter of hours, Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday 2 CD is already listed as a bestseller on Barnes and & Nobles. And just another thing, before I give you guys the info for the international barbs, please feast your eyes upon this. 
And of course, I clicked the link. You guys can find this link on Nicki Minaj's Twitter. But when I clicked the link, it was a Nicki calendar, basically with every last one of her accomplishments the day that she did it. And you are able to download this calendar and sync it with your calendar on your phone. So that's really cool. Thank you to the person that took the time to do that. And just one more thing, Nicki Minaj becomes the first female artist to have nine songs surpass one billion views on YouTube in history. It's like Nicki Minaj is making history every day. Anyways, with all of that being said, I love you guys so much. Thanks.